Now, when it comes to creating a visual report template, in other words, as you recall in the past training video, we learned how to create a visual report here. And when I'm done with it, and I check the boxes, and I want to see the fields, and I set it up just right, and I don't want to have to do this again when I export the budget cost report again, and come over here, change the colors of the report, you know, I went through a lot of work. So what I can do is I can go ahead and save it as a template that will be available when I go back to project. So to do that, come up here and click on the File tab. Let me click on it, go down to Save As. Click on the drop-down arrow and choose the Excel template.xltx. That's the extension. If you don't know anything about extensions, then I recommend that you watch my Windows training video on extensions. So go ahead and select that, and then come up here and give it a name. And we'll call it My Budget Report KK. Okay, go ahead and click Save and then I'll ask you, this workbook contains external data. In other words, it exported it from project. So do you want Microsoft Excel to clear the data before saving the template and then automatically pulling in any updates from project when I export or open up this template again from project? Definitely, I want the latest data. So click Yes, and there you go. So when I go ahead and close out of here, and I go back to project, and I come back up here and go to the Reports group, again, on the Project tab, click on visual reports where is it there we go my budget report KK double click on that there we go close out of it not save it I saved another template while I was messing around here and had the uh, generic name and didn't give it my fancy name if I want to get rid of one of these templates here come over here and click on manage templates opens up the window scroll through it and there it is right click on it and say you want to delete it and say yes and it's gone close out if it doesn't refresh here and it's still showing then close out click on visual reports and it's gone okay now the other option here besides you know working with one of these templates and customizing it and saving it as your own template you can start from scratch click on new template and it says which application do you want to use let's use Excel then what data type let's see task usage let's use assignment usage and then the fields that you want to include in this report, click on Field Picker and notice all the available fields and those that have been selected from our choice of assignment usage. So you can add more if you want or select these and remove them if you want. I'm going to go ahead and leave as is and click OK. Click OK. And there it is, starting from scratch. It has all the fields for me to choose from over in my pivot table field list with nothing defaulted saying, okay, you want to look at cost, we'll have them checked. You want to look at work, we'll have them checked. Again, this is from scratch. So let me come over here and take a look at the actual costs and also check, like, let's say, the baseline costs. And then let's do the cost at that current time. And let's scroll down and see what else we got. Let's see, resources. And you can see as I start adding fields, the pivot table starts grouping them or putting them in groups like for the resources, the actual cost so far for these resources, the baseline cost for the resources, and let me come down here and choose, well for time, the weekly calendar. So you can see that when I check it, it adds the fields down below. It puts them either as a column label, values, or row labels. And you can go ahead and click and drag these and move them around. And if you're asking me, is there any magic to it? No, you just have to know your data. In other words, what do you want to see as a report filter or as a row label or in your values or for column labels? And there's the column labels here, the row labels here. You can flip them and move them around. It's just that how do you want to view your pivot table? Again, you can learn more about it in my Excel 2010 training videos on pivot tables and pivot charts. But again, I want to give you something a little bit more to work with in case if you don't have time to uh, watch those training videos and give you something to kick you off in the right direction. So for example, we've got our row labels, which is resources, and here they are by rows. If I come and I click this and I drag it up into the report filter, what that does, instead of showing me all the resources, it says for all the resources, here are the costs, without viewing all the resources. If I want to go ahead and filter for the resources, come up here, expand it, and then expand all and then check the box so I can actually get check boxes for those resources uncheck all and say I just want to see it for writer one click OK and then for writer one here's the actual costs compared against the baseline cost and the uh, well current cost 
So there's Rider 1. Click on the drop down arrow, expand. How about if we uncheck that and go to, let's see, Rider 2 and click OK. No actual cost yet because Rider 2, well, they may have started a task or completed it, but we haven't actually entered it in. Okay. In any case, let's go ahead and change it from, you can see the funnel there, meaning that this uh, report has been filtered or the pivot table and go ahead and check all and click OK and we're back to well where we started by viewing the uh, costs, the actuals for all the resources and comparing it against the baseline and the current costs and down below you got this defer layout update when you check that and you make changes here it won't automatically update it until you click update okay in case if you don't want to see how the sausage is made you just want to be able to see it all at once and click update. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because I like to see it as I go along. And then if you want to go ahead and create a chart based upon the data here, then come up here and click on the options tab, which by the way, you won't be able to see it if you don't have the pivot table selected. Because when you have it selected, it brings up its related contextual tabs saying that, okay, when you work with the pivot table, here are the options that you get. Click on it and then come over here to the tools group and click on pivot chart and then go ahead and choose a chart double click on it and there you go it's an embedded chart and you can hover over the border of it to click and drag it to move it around and you get your pivot fields here that you can click and check you know what resources you want to see as well as in here and remember what you do in one updates the other so if I come up here and I go uncheck all expand it and just say rider one click OK it updates it down below here for the actual cost for Rider 1. Let me go ahead and hit undo. And you can also, you know, select the chart and you get the different contextual tabs related to what you have selected, which is the chart. You got the design. Click on more and you can choose different colors here. And you can actually right click within the chart and say that you want to move the chart to have it not be as an object within the sheet, but have its own sheet. Click OK. So you got it on its own sheet and you've got the data on sheet one. I mean, all this stuff you can learn in my Excel 2010 training videos, but here's a start. And let's go back to the chart here. And to go ahead and save this as a template, come up here, click on the file tab, go down to save as, click on the drop down arrow for the type and say you want to save it. The type is going to be the Excel template.xltx. Select that. Puts us right to the templates folder and we can call it which is on assignment usage. Then click Save. Do you want to go ahead and refresh this when you export it from project with the current data that's available in project? Say yes. Close out. And if you don't see it here, go ahead and close out. Come back up here. Refresh it by opening it back up. And there's our spiffy report assignment usage. Double click to test it to see if it opens up. Hey, that's fancy. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.